This is the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe. So dimensions of the figure, as for length, it's 4.5 inches. And for width, it's going to be 2 inches. So let's take a closer look at the details in vehicle form. So we have weapon storage ports. Front of the vehicle, Autobot insignia, bumper, side profile, and back profile. So we have visible handsets, but you'll know only that those are handsets when you take a closer look or examination of it. But on viewing it from this angle, it's okay actually and just in case you're not a fan of the humongous weapon that this figure comes with just take a peek of any of the weapons that you have on board loose in your collection for example i pick this which comes from a warhammer 40k action figure so easy these stores on the back that way instead of having the ginormous be a uh, gun <laughs> so this is more tolerable okay so let's do transformation just a side note so this is the weapon that comes with this figure take a look at that extended it's as long as the vehicle form so actually it's really mismatched with this action figure but this is the one that came with it and this is actually now paired with another of my transformers action figures which is this guy so compared to this and this this is more of a sideswipe weapon that's why I chose this and it could easily store on the back of the figure that way just by friction okay so from vehicle form very simple transformation as stated on the manual this is just a intermediate transformation so nothing really fancy just detach these two portions first on the back so we have tabs on these sections that holds on to the arms of the figure that way and you could extend the handsets out and detach these sections and lift them up a little bit so we're going to do the other side too And we're ready to put down the leg section. So this. Just pull that out. And from this tab, separate it. And this is going to be the foot of the action figure, which is on a ratchet system. So just be careful that it doesn't detach from its connection points. Okay. So from this position, Jerwalk, lift the top panel out to expose the head. And lift this section of the hood and we have connection points these two and engage on those sides so it's going to look that way and the back section 
so just break that panel line on the back so align these sections some more so it's already engaged on both sides so we have tabs and it engages on those sections there you go and the arms snap them on this side of the vehicle that way and lower the arm sections but first rotate this it's going to flay sometimes it's going to detach from the joint but that's okay it's easily um, popped back in so really this is not going to be an issue so as you could see very simple transformation we already have side swipe in robot form or humanoid form okay so let's adjust So very simple transformation, nothing really fancy. And compared to the newer variant, which is already out now, I have seen it this afternoon and I was excited at first to get it because, well, it's a new side swipe action figure. But taking a look at it on hand inside packaging, I was really not impressed by its dimensions especially the foot of the action figure i thought that this design was um, horrible but taking a, a look at it right now it's better than the newer version <laughs> at least we have a very pronounced foot instead of having helicopter legs wow okay so it's also quite top heavy on this section but with this when you take a look at it it's more anatomically correct though we have of course by design in transformation we have a lot of gaps and holes but if you take it take a look at the figure from this angle from the side and the back this is a more suitable or anatomically somehow correct design especially the what i like about this is the handsets too um there's something really wrong with the design of the handsets of the newer version too some too toyish i really don't know and well anyway so with regards to how the figure looks I, I think that <laughs> this is better and just give it a new gun i just chopped off the excess peg so it's going to hold on to that pistol better that way it actually looks better or somehow and more anatomically correct so it's not too top heavy height of the figure in humanoid form it's going to be 5.5 inches and with regards to articulation we don't have any articulation on the waist but we have articulation on the head so a little bit of tilts and left and right movement of course rotation of the arms and the arms would easily detach but you could easily pop it back on 
we have rotation on the biceps single articulation point on the elbow which is on a ratchet joint and we have articulation on the handsets which is on a ball joint okay for the legs we have forward kicks bends on the elbow that's more than 90 side kicks possible back kick also possible so the only thing that this action figure can't do is going to be waist articulation well it really does not matter after all some of the body parts would compensate for this section but of course this is an 11 year old um, action figure so the engineering of this is not the latest or the greatest but with regards to the material this is made of sturdier plastic the one that I bought this afternoon, actually when I took it, took it out of packaging um, because I was really excited, took it out in pa of packaging while I was still in the parking lot of Target, I really did not like how the plastic felt. It was It felt so cheap, so light, and I guess that if I subject it to about 10 seconds of hair dryer that um, action figure is going to melt but with this for an uh, 11 year old action figure the materials on this is thicker it's different so that's the reason it did not make it to the review table i just refunded it <laughs> Together with the Sun Streaker action figure, I was supposed to review both, but because I was dismayed at how the sideswipe looked, I did not bother to open the Sun Streaker figure. So, anyway, I think I'm going to get the um, Autobot Snarl figure. I think that's going to be a better purchase. For $52, I think the plastic is going to be better and the experience with owning the action figure would be better. Let's see. But for now, I think that if you already own this action figure of Sideswipe, the Gamer um, Edition, I think you're better off with this one. So from robot mode or humanoid form, let's transform this guy. Okay, so let's first take off the weapon. Okay. So let's start with the legs. So from this position, so this is on a ratchet joint. So let's just go and fold it backwards this way so with the other leg and join them so tabs here and there so it's going to be a very easy transformation so you could even fold the handsets already start and detach these sections I thought before when I first owned this action figure that the plastic was already cheap but holding on to the new sideswipe action figure the plastic is really so so paper thin <laughs> That's the way to describe that figure. Plastic is paper tin. Okay, and rotate the biceps. So it's going to look that way. Well, you could pop off the arm. So this tab is going to align with that. So that's the easy way to do it. <laughs> Shortcut. 
and we also have one section to tab so this forms the side of the vehicle okay so one arm formed so let's go to this side and once again let's try to align that but first okay and did it detach okay it did, did so yeah that's the easy way to do it okay so those arms are ready okay just do the same section so tabs so make sure it's nicely aligned oh okay so here you go the figure is going to look that way just align the head a little bit and time to separate so those sections I mean where the backpack is going to attach with the chest so just take that section and detach and take that section and detach so it's going to be those tabs Okay. Now the section is disengaged from the front of the vehicle so it's folded now time to align it and it easily pops back straight on very easy okay so this section we also have tab portions so disengage that too so it easily detaches and yep do this motion on the foot so it's going to raise the front of the vehicle and fold the feet onto the inner portion of the vehicle that way so you're just going to sandwich it that way and we're almost done almost done okay so the only thing that is left to be accomplished is the side panels and the tab those sections there you go once again it's in vehicle form and with the weapon just easily stores or is sandwiched in between and actually at this angle it looks like it's part of the vehicle so just by friction it's actually held in place Not nicely okay so that's the transformation and review of transformers generations sideswipe fall of cybertron the older model but compared with the new one material is once again i will repeat material on this guy it this is more sturdy plastic um, I thought that at first this easily breaks when I first owned it 11 years ago compared to of course other transformers action figures that I had which had once again thicker plastic than this but comparing this to the newer version the plastic on this is better the paint job is also nicely done too so and comparatively speaking the weight <laughs> this is quite a weighty piece of plastic compared to the newer version wherein if you discount 
the box packaging I really don't know how much weight in plastic that figure holds so in long term owning that action figure I don't think that it's going to last but with this this is a now a proven design that this figure for 11 years it could really stand the test of time and I think more so further customizing this with painting those rims silver I think that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do with this action figure so I already gave him a new gun so yep I think I'm more satisfied with this than the newer one so stay tuned for possibly new transformer figures that I'm going to make a video of so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure or transformers action figure review